everyone out there in YouTube land. I'm the Scent Maven. Welcome back to my channel, Shopping in Scents. So let's take a deep breath. I have some Bath & Body Works stuff to share with you. I know I haven't done a Bath & Body Works video in a very long time. I decluttered a lot of my collection and I am not looking forward to or not anxious to reclutter it. So Bath & Body Works has had some okay sales. They did have a $5.95 body care sale and they had it online but you could but you could do buy online pick up in store that's the BOPIS BOPIS it's a weird acronym anyway I was gonna place an online order and do the $50 for free shipping and then I was like you know what I really should smell these scents um that I'm interested in before I make this purchase and I'm glad that I did because the ones that I were I was interested in um, turned out to be not good, at least not to my taste. So I was anxious to try Tropidelics. Um, it has a very musty smell. It just doesn't smell tropical or nighttime tropical. Um, then there was the Clementine Calypso or Calypso Clementine. And I smelled that and it had a very orangey starburst scent and... Yeah, not impressed. Too too orangey sweet for me. If you like that, you know, that citrus, orangey candy citrus smell, then by all means go for that scent. But um, the only scent I could say that I really like, because let's exclude all of the repackages, because they've repackaged so many of the tropical scents from previous seasons, previous years. So... This is the scent I'm going to recommend to you. I really like it. I like the name. I like the packaging. I like the scent. So I actually just bought the one scent that I really liked. And that is Meet Me in Miami. I so love this scent. I don't know if it's just because of the name or the packaging. But there's something about this scent that I really, really like. So when they did the $5.95 sale, I picked up the collection of meet me in Miami and why does it remind me of the golden girls I guess because they're in Miami but I just so love this so anyway meet me in Miami has this it smells a little bit like banana a little like coconut a little floral like it could be spring or summer and it's, it's, I don't know, I was going to say it smells unique to me. I don't know if it's a repackage, but it is breezy palm trees, cabana coladas, suntan days. Now, the interesting thing about this, I like trying out new scents on the boyfriend um, because I like to get his opinion on things. And I thought that he would really love this, but surprisingly he said to me that it smells really feminine and I didn't think that at all so yeah and he's someone who likes really super sweet scents he likes tropical scents coconuts and pineapples and such uh but he also likes the like um strawberry pound cake and pumpkin pecan waffles and the gourmand bakery scents so when he said this was feminine it struck me as weird because I was like it's it's not feminine to smell like a cookie or a cupcake, but this is feminine. I guess it's the floral maybe, which must be the um, breezy palm trees. So then today, Bath and Body Works hat, this, this is gonna just keep getting in my way. Bath and Body Works hat, that's a little better. They had $5.95 on one of their new scents. And I know why they did $5.95, because the scent is not so good. So I picked up one item from the collection. If they're going to do $5.95 for the entire scent collection, you might as well get one of the more expensive items, right? So I do like the moisturizing body wash, and I do pick up moisturizing body washes um, when I can. So uh, the Brightest Bloom I picked up in the Moisturizing Body Wash, which is normally 
$18.95. This smells so, I want to say grassy or plant-like. It smells like if you got a bouquet of flowers and you're about to put them in a vase or vase and you cut the stems at an angle, which you're supposed to do, I guess. If there's a florist out there, let me know. Please excuse the snoring of my pug, my pug who's walking around. So it smells like stems, like freshly cut flower stems. So I'm not really nuts about it, but I figured I'll try it because I like the properties of the moisturizing body wash. I do feel like it does work. So this is Lily of the Valley which is not a, a scent that I particularly like. Jasmine Sa Sambac. Garden Carnations Fresh Cedarwood. Such an odd combination of scents. And the packaging is, is okay. Mm. So there's that. Then they had uh, the $3.95 soap sale. I smelled a bunch of the soaps. A lot of them are repackages. I honestly could not really find anything that I liked. There was one that was called like Chasing Daydreams that I almost got, but I was so unimpressed by the soaps and the Easter soaps smelled weird. The one that's supposed to smell like flowers, the one that has the floral arrangement on it with the bunny, that smelled like the cake pop one and the cake pop one smelled more florally. So I don't know if somebody switched the tops on the bottles, but yeah, I wasn't, I wasn't into it. So I did pick up two soaps that I like. So this one is not super different or interesting and it may have been out before, but it's new to me and that's Rose and Amber. So I like a good rose scent. Yeah, I was gonna say now I can't open it. I like a good rose scent. And this smells like a fresh bouquet of roses. I really don't get the amber. It's very much a rose scent. Mm, fresh cut roses, really, really nice. They might as well have called it that. So this is Soft Rose Petals, Warm Amber, and Rich Vanilla. Which makes me think with the vanilla and the rose, it would smell like um, Pink Petal Tea Cake. My dog is just has to distract me right now. But it doesn't smell like vanilla at all. It has no bakery gourmand scent or, or anything. It just smells like fresh cut roses. So I picked up this one. And then, you know what? Bath & Body Works... When they do lime scents, it always smells like a dirty dish rag. I'm trying to think of specific lime scents that I've tried before. They've all been bad. I just, they can't do lime. But I decided to try this one because it smelled a little better than, you know, dirty dish rag smell. And that's the electric limeade with a highlighter kind of green. So... Electric Limeade. It smells like a lime icy. And I figured that would be interesting. It, it's a lime icy, but there's something in there that takes out that weirdness that they usually have in their lime scent. So let's see what's in this one. Um, this is Frozen Limeade, Strawberry Swirl, and a sea salt rim. I don't smell any strawberry at all. Maybe that's what's setting off the lime. But the way they're describing it, it makes it sound like a margarita. No, or like a mojito. A mojito, it smells like. Although I don't drink, so. It, it reminds me of other scents that are labeled like mojito or margarita. So. Maybe it is a twist on Island Margarita. Maybe it is. I don't know. 
Electric Limeade. So that is what I picked up from Bath and Body Works. So this is going to be a short video. I hope you enjoyed it. Um, remember to comment, rate, subscribe. Follow me on Instagram at Shopping and Sense. I know I have to post there again soon. And have a blessed rest of your day. Until next time, goodbye everyone out there in YouTube land.